Here's Claire here um, with the first stage of our Let's Make an ABC Primer photo album. Um, I'm going to take you through how to make the covers and the inside page. Okay, so to start, you need your two pieces of nine by six and a half um, card or chipboard or cereal packets stuck together. I think three layers of a cereal packet would be strong enough. Um, and your two pieces of eight by 11-ish, or eight and a half by 11 and three quarters, or if you're in the UK, A4 card. And we'll start like this. First of all, around each of the sides, All of it. And then turn the card over and place it in the middle of your um, cover piece and stick it down. Next thing to do is cut the corners off, not right up to the edge here, but leave about an eighth of an inch and just mitre the corners. Let me just get the glue off my scissors. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay. And cut across. So do that for all four corners. Okay. Move those over there. And then with your ATG again, or tape, sticky tape, whichever you're using, just tape around the edges again of your inside piece of card. Apologies if this looks a bit caggy handed. It always does. To those right handed people out there. Okay, now we're going to fold those edges in. And I do that by pushing the card over to start the fold off and then pulling tightly down onto the glue. And that gives you a nice edge. And do it again, turn it round and do it again. Just bend it to start it off and then turn it to face you and press down. I always do the long sides first and then fold the ends in, shorter ends in afterwards. With your corners, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's a little tiny bit from that line sticking out over the edge of the card here. Just push it in with your nail or you can use the end of your scissors just around this card just to flatten it in and that just gives you a very nice neat fold when this piece comes over and you won't be able to see the card underneath. So pull it in, push it in and then we're going to fold the two ends over. So just bend forwards to start the fold and then Pull your card down. Now if like I have you've got a little gap there where you can see the card through um, I would just paint it with a bit of black dabber or acrylic paint just to fill that in. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay and then let's do the other one. Fold it over to start the fold and then pull it down on itself and that gives you a really nice neat cover and then for the inside of the cover excuse my arm I think this is a piece of 12 by 12 alphabet soup paper I'm going to ink the edges oh cutting first I've cut it at eight and three quarter inches by 
eight and three quarter inches by six and a quarter inches. And remember the cover is nine by six and a half. So this is a quarter of an inch smaller than the book or the, the cover. And then you get your nice black edge around the, around the sides. So we're going to ink it. I'm going to use vintage photo ink and um, my little ink pad with a handle. I'm quite a rough inker. Hold the paper and just ink along the edges just to make sure you get rid of all of the white cut edges and it gives a better finish and looks nice on the black. It sits better. I also like to ink in and I just I'm not sure whether this is right or wrong but it's what I do just holding the tool on the paper and just ink across the edges in towards the centre and it just gives it an oldie worldy look so I just go all the way around the edges quite strong so you can do that in midair and then just check that all the white edges have actually gone okay. and then we are going to stick it on this side so as close to the edge as you can get and that stops the edges from curling up Squeak back, squeak is back again. And then put a crisscross in the middle and that holds the paper onto the board and stops it ruckling up. Okay, let's turn that over. Now I'm ne never very good at keeping the um, glue tape up right on the inside of the edge so anything that's sticking over or that you can see from the right side of the paper I just catch back underneath and then take your cover wrong side facing you and I just eye this or eyeball it so put it down and flatten it onto your cover. So that's step one. Do that with the back cover as well, and then um, you need to put two holes in here. So we'll do that next. So just a normal hole punch, and what I've done is mark, just a little tiny pencil mark, on the edge in the centre of the book on the cover, the centre of the long edge, and that's at four and a half inches. And then I'm just going to put it in this hole punch, line it up. Take it out very carefully, and that puts the holes in for the cover. <laughs> 